Hi, I'm Jimmy Davis. And, uh... Tonight I'll be sitting in for Ed Foley on the Jubilee USA and stay with us, won't you? on Jubilee, USA, from the Ozark Mountains of Missouri. And helping Jimmy help you pass the time of day will be pretty Miss Susie Arden. That old rascal from hither and yon, Uncle Cy Frasfield. Along with two favorite singers and singers of yours, Harold Morrison and Jimmy Gately. Make a good man on any job look even better. Jubilee Promenaders, and the high-spirited fun sure makes a man feel welcome here. When old Redhead Foley asked me to sit in for him during one week of his vacation, I told him I'd be glad to, and I told him I'd sing a song that he asked me to. So if Slim Wilson and his wonderful band will help me, it goes something like this. Dressed as she used to be 
waiting for someone by the garden gate, and I know that someone is me. Big brown eyes, big brown eyes, and curly hair, curly hair. Now can't you tell that's me? pepper tree and I can feel her hand in mine as I sit alone tonight just a dreaming of the hours I spent with me oh gee wouldn't it be wonderful to open up the doors of the past live again as in yesterday but you know no matter where I wander and no matter where I roam there'll always be a place in my heart boy for a girl way back oh yes a girl that I used to call me sometimes in the evening we'd go strong And I can feel her hand in mine As I sit alone tonight Just a dream of the hours I spent with me tell you what it sure it is to keep youngsters going in blue jeans. And I'm glad the Dickies people put us wise to their new Jubilee jeans. Oh, they have something really exclusive. It's called Laminon, and it's part of the blue jeans' knees themselves. There's nothing glued on or sewed on to come loose. These are Dickies' Jubilee jeans with Laminon knees. They're hung here on the line after being washed. And what's more, these jeans give double knee strength without the bulkiness of ordinary double knee jeans. And that's mighty, mighty important in drying, too, as you mothers very well know. Well, how about wearing quality? Laboratory tests show these Dickies, Laminon knees, fantastically superior. But the important test, of course, is what your youngsters can actually do to them. Well, here is a case in point. Now, Dickies, Laminon knees, here, ordinary double knee right here. Need I say more? Get Dickie's Jubilee jeans with Laminon knees at your favorite store. If they don't have them, they can get them. The only jeans with the Laminon knees, Dickie's. And don't forget our gratefully Red Foley album. Just send $2 to album here of Red Foley, Springfield, Missouri for this top quality Decca album of 12 all-time Red Foley hits, as well as your certificate for $1 good on any Dickies purchase. Thank you. 
Marston. That was Harold Marston and Jimmy Gately, two of my favorite Jubilee entertainers. But I must confess to you that my very special favorite is an old gentleman that I understand we're putting on quite a few miles in the next couple of weeks, going at a pace that uh, would make a younger man envious. He'll be at Granite City, Illinois, and Stanford, Connecticut, and Delaware. And I know, too, that he's a real favorite of yours. And here he is now with his ever-loving Aunt Sap, Uncle Sipe Brassfield. <laughs> Hon, I, I sure am glad you joined me. I sure been missing you on this trip. Oh, you have? Yeah. Did you see many pretty women on the West Coast? Pretty women? Why, well, there woods just full of them. Was there any prettier than me? Pretty than you? Why, well, foot, every dad blame one of them was pretty than you. Honey, I don't know. I never noticed. Oh. <laughs> no Liar! Oh, look, hon, you're my wife. I got battle stripes to prove it. <laughs> You're my wife. I thought of you. I thought of you night and day. Even thought of you at night. Of course, I had some awful nightmares, but I thought about you. <laughs> I wonder where that, that blame waiter is. I'm hungry. I am, too. I just love to eat somebody else's cooking. Well, I do, too. What's the matter with my cooking? Well, nothing, but anybody gets tired of that blame cornbread and... Well, if you with... would go to the grocery store, Instead of the pool room all the time, maybe we'd have something fit to eat. Well, don't get me upset. You know how it hurts my blood pressure. I think I'll have me about a dozen hot dogs. But you don't like hot dogs. I know I hate hot dogs. But can I help it if I love bicarbonate of soda? Oh. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Uh, uh, Could I take your order, please? Oh, yeah, won't you? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah where is it? Uh, would you move that? <laughs> Just want to get the... Bill of fire there. Just back it up so we can see what we want to eat here. Oh, boy, Oh, keep that out of the way. It never rains but what it pours. Rains but what it pours? That's the song. I know who wrote it. Who? Morty Salt. <laughs> could, I, could I please take your orders? Hey, good. Get a load of that. Boy, this is a good place to eat, hey? Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Slim. <laughs> uh, do, do you eat here? Do I eat here? Yeah. No, I eat across the street. I work here. Oh, 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 oh yeah, I see. Well, that's a good recommendation. Uh, have you got any wild duck? No, but uh, I got a couple out in the kitchen. I'll be gl glad to go out and tease them, make them wild for you. <laughs> Let's don't be funny. <laughs> Ain't nobody been funny so far. Don't you start. <laughs> Have you got frog legs? Frog legs? No, that's just the way they cut these pants. <laughs> you want me to put that white coat on you said here or not? <laughs> that blame you. That blame your heart. Let's see. How about, uh, honey? How about seafood? You got any seafood? Seafood? Uh, we serve anything that swims. Anything as well. Yes. Yeah, bring it's... Esther Williams in. Esther Williams. <laughs> huh? Well, I just get there. Uh, how, how about this year uh, roast turkey? Roast turkey? Yeah. No, where are that? I'll have to take that off there. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. well, well, I forgot this in here. How about this in right here? Give us two orders of that. Two, two orders of that? Yeah. That's Joe and Jack, the managers of the Southfield Cafe. That's. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, well, I ain't got my glasses. I be... <laughs> Have you got any uh, country ham and good old red no, dyed gravy? No, I'm sorry, we're out of country ham. I'll have to take that off, too. Well, yeah. What's that right there? That? Oh, that's fly specks. Well, get them off the bill of fire. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Margaret. I have a nice big steak. Steak. Well, yeah. do you burn it with charcoal? Uh, no, ma'am, we cook with electricity. Cook oh. with electricity? <laughs> yes. That's right, hon. I had here yesterday. And that steak I had, they woke it up too soon after that shock treatment. <laughs> uh, well, I just have roast beef, beef? mashed potatoes and gravy, beef? Yeah. and some peas, beef? and I believe apple pie without cream, apple pie and, with and my, coffee. Never mind all that mess. Bring us two hot dogs. Two hot The lady said she wanted I'm, roast beef, she wanted I'm, apple pie. I'm paying two hot dogs. Put everything on them. Two hot dogs. 
two hot dogs. Yeah, two hot dogs. The very idea, you old skin flint, you. Well, Puddin'. You like hot dogs more you do me. Mm -hmm. If there was a hot dog there and me here, which one would you pick? Well, how big is this hot dog? <laughs> Yeah. I'll not live with you another day. Yeah. And if I had a gun, I'd just blow my brains out. <laughs> yeah. If you had a gun, you'd blow your brains yeah. out. Yeah, here, Puddin'. <laughs> Go out in the kitchen. I hate brains on my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> blow her brains out. All right, Miss Cat Ash, you gonna blow something out. She ain't even... <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened? She shot herself. Shot herself? Yes. Well, cancel one of them hot dogs. Cancel one hot dog. What happened, Puddin'? But I missed me that far. Dad, blame it. Bring that other hot dog. Two hot dogs. All right. Uncle Cy, but I had a the life of money to save him your own. You know, next week, Jubilee USA will feature Tex Ritter, the original Battle of New Orleans man, Jimmy Driftwood, and Cousin Jody. And taking over as boss man will be our own Slim Wilson. But that's next week. This week's show still has quite a few minutes to go, but none that will be any more important than the next one. Well, you know, it's awful nice for me to get a chance to come up here. The Ozarks and the people here are just like the ones back home. Awfully friendly and very hospitable. You know, I've been here for a couple of days now and just enjoying the Ozark hospitality and uh, taking in some of the beautiful sights. This is truly a wonderland. And speaking of a wonderland and wonderful people, there's no one else in the whole world that sings a song quite like Susie Arden. <laughs> to me with open eyes Well, I never had the heart to refuse them So I let them fight it out for my charm If you want some loving just let me know If you want some hugging just tell me so I can go for a dandy with a pocket full of candy but I can't stand a dater who calls me a tomato If you want some loving just let me know Someday I know that I will probably marry Except for just one thing that worries me That's all the other fellas in the world Will suffer all their lives in misery If you want some loving, just let me know If you want some hugging, just tell me so Chicken when I really get to clicking and I'm looking for a system to revive when I kiss them. If you want some loving, just let me know. A lot of jealous folks think I'm conceited. Cause the fellas make the dirt much over me. Well, it ain't my fault that I got so much money. And never got the he's a honey bee. I'm a real sweet mama, real cool Adam Bomber. You should see the fellas moochin' for a little of my smoochin'. If you want some love, then just let me know. Thank you. Gee, I've always appreciated the warm ways that I've been received here. Makes me proud to be a part of the show. And as a special favor at this time for me, I wish that you'd extend one of your real warm welcomes to a newcomer to the Jubilee. He's just loaded with talent. Now see if you don't agree with me. Ernie Weimer.
remember. He's quite a songwriter, too. You know, the secret of a good songwriter, don't you? It's the ability to project the feelings of millions into a single thought. And we're going to try to do the same thing right now. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a toast. To the TV show we like the most. On ABC from coast to coast. It stars our boss, your friend and host, Lawrence Well. Thank you, Lennon Sisters. Folks, we're very proud to have these little girls with the champagne music makers on your dancing party every week on the ABC television network. We really enjoy sharing the fun with all of you, playing your favorite tunes so you can roll back the carpet and dance with your best girl or just sit back and enjoy the party with us. So tune us in and you will see the fun we have on ABC. Be sure to join us. Take a peek at dancing parties every week. And remember, you're all invited. Dance to sparkling champagne music tonight over most of these stations. Well, you know, every chance I get, I watch Jubilee USA. I just get my old slippers out and, and I sit back and relax and get a little bit envious of my friend Red Foley for having so many wonderful entertainers around him. One of the moments I enjoy most is the time he spends with the lamppost four. So one of the conditions for coming up here, I told him that I'd like to take his place with that group. So if they'll come on out here now, see him coming. Hello, yeah. Bill. Where's the lamppost? <laughs> What's that? Where's the lamppost? Oh, the lamppost. That thing is always late. Come on here. <laughs> lamppost, please. Got a funny movement. Yeah. 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 Well, now we're out here. What, what are we going to sing, Jimmy? Oh, well, uh, just a little barbershop stuff, huh? Little yeah. barbershop? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. I can hardly wait now for our next half hour. Let's see, we're going to have Kitty Wells, and we're going to have Johnny and Jack, and we're going to have Leroy Van Dyke, and we're going to have Suge Fisher, and we're going to have Pat Patterson, and we're going to have more fun. So we want to remind all of you folks, please don't go away. Stay right where you are, because we're going to be back right after Station Identification. Yes, sir. <laughs> 
just my lady star. She's been rambling around too far. Elephant lips and gentlemen, Charlie, run around not too far. Elephant lips and you lips and here we go right and left back. This portion of Jubilee USA has been brought to you by Dickies, makers of Jubilee Jeans who are offering you the Red Foley Gratefully album, which can be had by sending just $2 to album care of Red Foley here in Springfield, Missouri. Just a little half, half way round, don't you wonder inside, or the outside, and they're dipping down, go like that. Inside, high, and the outside, low, and the lips, and the way you go. Not that you're there, let a hold me go, and everybody's being in world, everybody's being in good. Threat of an A-bomb explosion spreads fear on Deadline Collection tomorrow night over the ABC television network.